Morning everyone, it is time for the 30th anniversary of Magic the Gathering. Magic Con Vegas starts uh, today, tomorrow. So I thought I would make a video to show everybody what we're bringing with us to Las Vegas. What are we packing in our bag? Um, the most important thing we're gonna bring is the weekend badge. We picked this up, ordered this a couple months ago and finally arrived. Uh, this gets us into the convention center all three days where we can get uh, artists to sign cards. We can buy some art. We can participate in all of the fan interactions they have there. Uh, the second most important thing that we're going to bring with us to Las Vegas is our box of cards to get signed. This is a 400 count box that we customized previously on the channel with Ice Age Booster Pack wrappers that Dan Fraser had signed. Uh, so we filled this box with just the cards by the artists who are attending MagicCon Las Vegas. You can find that information on the um, MagicCon website. They also have an app for Apple or Android that tells you which artists are there, which ones are signing, where they're signing. Um, and what I've done is created a little deck box um, sorted by artists. So this box has all Anson Maddox cards in it. And then uh, we'll just find Anson, get in line, have him sign all these cards. Um, there's a lot of alphas in here to get signed. We have Disintegrate, Holy Strength, Flight, Invisibility, Life Tap, Paralyze, Ivory Cup, Throne of Bone, a play set of reconstructions from Antiquities that was missing the expansion symbol, uh, some revised cards for the revised sign set, some Darelors from Fallen Empires, and some Land War Elves. You get the idea. So basically any anything that... Uh, we could possibly get signed, we'll bring with, we'll maybe make a decision while we're in line how much time we have to get stuff signed. Um, if we don't have a particular card of that artist, I picked up a stack of these World Championship blank cards. These are pretty fun. I had the original um, Power Nine artists sketch Power Nine art on these a long time ago, um, but this stack is all from the inaugural tournament, February 96, I think when you bought the championship decks, they came with about 20 of these or something like that. Correct me in the comments if I'm, if I'm remembering incorrectly, but it was like 12 to 20 copies of these blanks. And then people tossed them out years ago. Uh, and so sometimes you can find them and then take them to conventions and have the artists sketch on them or sign them. And if you don't have the particular card with you, you can just ask them to do a little sketch on those. Those are pretty cool. Um, I do expect the lines to be really, really long in Las Vegas, so I think I've already heard artists like Mark, Mark Tadine is not doing color alters on anything, so I wouldn't expect to get Mark to do a full art alter on that card. I'm also bringing some pens, Sharpies. Um, most of the artists have Posca pens and Sharpies of various colors at their tables, but if there's a particular color that you want a card to be signed in, um, it's always a good idea to bring your own pens. And then I'm gonna bring some sleeves. I have some classic penny sleeves and some thicker sleeves. Uh, for when I get the cards signed, I put them in these sleeves and prevent the signatures from smearing. And then we're gonna do some pack battles. So in this box, I brought some booster packs to open on the channel. Um, this is like, this is the fun box, I'll call it. So we can, we can do pack battles with Fallen Empires packs. We can do pack battles with some Homelands packs. And I think there's a few, there's a few Dominaria remastered packs that we haven't opened yet. So we're gonna try to pull a Force of Will out of there. And then I brought what's left of the, uh, the poker deck. Uh, it's Las Vegas, so there's bound to be some poker players and friends that wanna just play a quick game of poker. So that's going with us to Vegas. Get that on camera. Just like that. Perfect. A little more room. Okay, cool. And then let's see. A price guide. We've got this Inquest price guide from 96 that we're bringing. That is for the, the pack battles to kind of compare prices from back in the day. Uh, that'll be fun. Then we're gonna bring some decks to play with. We have our old school Lion Dib Bolt deck that we've seen on the channel before. This deck runs Sandy Dib Befreets, 
uh, counter spells, obviously, and Serendip Ifrit's, Savannah Lions, Lightning Bolts, kind of a direct damage. Um, unpowered, pretty budget, so that'll be fun to play in Vegas. Um, I also saw that there was a old school tournament, uh, Alpha 40, not old school, but Alpha 40 on Saturday. So we're gonna bring our Alpha 40 deck to play in the Alpha 40 championship on Saturday. Um, you've seen this Alpha 40 deck on the channel before. We're gonna make a couple tweaks to it before Vegas and then let you know how it does. I'll try to take some video and photo to give you some um, like behind the scenes in action as it's happening. And then uh, we brought our life counters. We got some dice, some craps dice because we're going to Vegas. That'll help us keep our life totals when we're playing Magic. Uh, the play mat, obviously, that you see in the background, we're going to take a play mat to play on. We're also going to get a play mat with our badge that we signed up for. So there should be a play mat waiting for us when we get there, as well as some more packs of Wilds of Eldrain that came with the entry fee. And then we also brought our, we're going to do a trade binder again this year. Um, we had one of these for Magic on Minneapolis with basically a merfolk deck in it but we put our extra alpha cards in this little trade binder so we have some some trade ability if we want to trade for cards or sell some cards we can do that um, the last things you could kind of bring if you're buying expensive cards and want to check their authenticity you can bring a jeweler's loop that's usually a good idea to bring that for um, just inspecting the layers of the card. If there's any inking, it'll tell you that. Then you can also bring a digital scale if you wanna weigh any of the cards, make sure they're not rebacked. That's a safe idea too. And I think last but not least is just some, some chewing gum, mainly for the airplane, but also for the tournament. It gets long there, it's hot in Vegas. Don't want to offend any of your opponents. Uh, so looking forward to it, should be a good time. Looking forward to meeting up with some friends of ours down there. Um, we'll give you updates on the channel. Let us know what you're bringing. Um, you definitely want to be economical and efficient with your packing. So I gave this about a week thought uh, to try to fit all this in my bag. And this is what I came up with. So let me know in the comments below how I did. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of the Las Vegas Magic Con content that's coming out starting tomorrow. And go ahead and like the video if you thought this was useful. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.